Hello, in this tutorial we are going to cover the control center which is hidden at the bottom of the iPad. If you press your finger in the black border of your iPad at the bottom and swipe in an upward motion you will bring up the control center. In the control center you will have access to a media player in the top left corner. This allows you to play audio from most apps such as Pandora or your music app. If you would like to play music from one of those apps, the middle button is the play button and this will play the audio recording. The two little lines are the pause button. You press that to pause the audio. In front of that is the forward button and this will advance you forward one song. Behind your play button is the back button and this will take you back a song. Underneath that is the control for your volume. This will turn your volume up and down. In the middle of the control center, you'll see an icon with an airplane on it. This is airplane mode, and when you press that, this will turn off your Wi-Fi, your cell phone service, and Bluetooth, which is great for when you're on an airplane. The next icon is the Wi-Fi icon, and this will allow you to know if you are connected to a Wi-Fi network when it's highlighted in white. The middle button is the Bluetooth button. Bluetooth allows you to connect to other electronic devices wirelessly. Next to that is the moon icon, and this is for do not disturb. This will turn off all your notifications and rings. Next to your moon icon is the mute button, and this will turn your mute on and off. The next icon you'll see is the timer icon, and this will give you access to a timer Next to that is a camera, which gives you easy access to your camera app. Below that is your brightness control, and this will darken or lighten your iPad brightness. Now the brighter it is, the more battery power it will use on your iPad. In the middle, you'll see toward the bottom the AirDrop symbol. AirDrop allows you to wirelessly share files with other people, but you must have your Bluetooth and wireless network on to use it. When you press on AirDrop, you can search for people who are in your contacts list that are nearby you, or you can search for everyone in the area nearby you, and this will allow you to transfer files to them easily. And then next to that, you'll see a little square with a triangle icon, and this allows you to connect to Apple TVs wirelessly, so you can stream your iPad to the television set. And this concludes the introduction to the iPad Control Center. <laughs> <laughs>